Hey everyone, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator, and here I'm talking with Tom from Tab Nation. Hello, everybody. And uh, hopefully, you guys, you know, you know, both of us, we stream live on Fridays to just to offer free help, right, to help people like you. Hopefully, during the last call, or no, was that two weeks ago, Tom? I think I was started two weeks ago, but dived a little more into it uh, last week. Yeah, we were talking about how, hey, let's let's put together an, an auto hockey convention kind of seminary thing where we we get together and have some people lead conversations about auto hockey. And uh, because, and I explained to Tom, like, you know, I actually had this all planned right before COVID and then COVID hit, it was going to be in person and then COVID hit. And it was like, oh, forget it. We thought, hey, let's do this as a virtual thing. And so we said, yeah, you know what, let's, let's go for it. So we're thinking this summer, right? At some point, and we're still planning. Yeah, we have a early summer is our goal, but you know, as of right now to be determined kind of thing. Yeah. And and more important, this is where Dom and I were discussing it is look, especially because it's the first one and you can't please everybody, you know, and I know I've done enough webinars with this where sometimes you have noobs, complete new people there. And then everyone that's been around for a while gets really, you know, tired because like they know how to do a message box. So we're going to set the ground and say, Hey, you know what? We're assuming that people have been doing auto hotkey using it for six months, right? Like that's, just the assumption you don't have to but that's who it's geared towards yeah it's going to be kind of you know like you're saying for the more advanced people or in a minute uh but as far as if you're new it still could be a great introduction we're not probably going to cover a lot you want that's more whatever our friday live streams are for so that's something else you might want to check out too if especially if you're new we do do help a lot with the more basic stuff there yeah and currently right now of course it's still lots up in the air right but we're thinking because auto hotkey it, it, we're so niche it's going to be global so we're thinking probably probably 10 a.m eastern dinner time and uh, that way people here in california it's 7 a.m for them and it's not too crazy but people in china you know have a chance it's not too late yeah and uh we were planning on doing saturday sunday kind of thing uh, we're going to split it into two days just because there's going to be a lot of topics. I'm sure they could go on for a bit. So we're going to split it into probably around four hour shifts, you know, on Saturday and Sunday. Here are a few of the, the topics right now we're kind of planning on, and, and we're definitely going to be adding to this and maybe removing as well. Things like some of it was panel discussions and some of it is going to be like a real how-to, right? And, and fundamentals of what to do with it. But so like the gaming and auto hockey, that's not a how-to that's a, hey, when is this appropriate? How is it appropriate? You know. Um, More of a discussion-based, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and then obviously a big one is version two auto hotkey. What, uh, you know, the compatibility, backwards compatibility, having it on the forum, ha- starting a different forum. You know, there's a lot of things around it of, and when are we going to make the switch officially? So that should be a fun topic. Yeah, definitely a lot of uh, kind of minor topics within that big topic to discuss. How do you get your work to love auto hotkey? So if you're having troubles using auto hotkey at your work, you know, we can give you some tips on how to get them to love it as well and to actually encourage it and pay and even give you a pay raise. Yeah, that's always the goal, right? Yeah, yeah that, that's going to be one that I really enjoy because I've experienced a lot of stuff with that and just presenting, you know, to a leader, then how do you present it to IT? They're very different topics, uh, conversations that you're going to be having there. So hopefully any advice we can give from both of our experiences or any other panel members. Yeah, in a IP protection, right? How do you, if you're going to try to sell auto hockey in some way or another, how do you encode it in some way or, you know, compile it and really protect yourself, right? And also have things a ways, how, how do you sell it, right? And especially with dealing, I know I've run into a, a hard thing with, when you compile them and you put them on your website, suddenly you get flagged as a spammer, right? It's, yeah. it's a lot of complexity to that. Yeah. So it's not just the kind of the creation and saving of the script and compiling, but also kind of a little bit of like the marketing of it and how it's going to be affected with people who don't really understand what auto hotkeys is. Yeah. And then other topics like, you know, the, the GDI library, I think that's a really fun one that especially stuff I'm, I'm, I haven't talked to Hellbent yet, but I'm hoping he'll actually pick up on that one because he's done some crazy, amazing stuff yes. in GDI with it, uh, web scraping, whether it's with Chrome or, you know, maybe using an extension uh, or JavaScript as well. Web service API calls are, you know, to me, one of the best things you can learn without a hotkey. It's so amazing. That's you know, we didn't. Joe uh, paneling that one. He's yeah, I, yeah. there on that. <laughs> Another great one I would say is just some fundamentals of regex, maybe some advanced type topics where, you know, getting into that would be a really cool thing to have someone that knows what they're doing to give some tips. 
and just, you know, why should you learn it? When should you not use it? That kind of stuff. Right. Actually, that's a really good point of, you know, and it gets back to it's complex, right? Sometimes it's about speed. Sometimes it's about complexity or who's going to be editing it and working on it, right? There's a lot of things that come into which you should use and why and when. Another fun one, which Tom, you mentioned this was the history of auto hotkey of just a lot of people that are new. And I would say it's not just auto hotkey, but also the forum, because there was a lot of drama several years ago. And just if you weren't there for it, it's really confusing. So yeah. maybe talking to, you know, so what had happened versus the new site and just, you know, what was auto hotkey originally? Why does it exist? And even going into the future too, of the history of, <laughs> What are their plans now? What is their roadmap that they yeah. have laid out? Yeah, and and one we kind of alluded to, Tom, but I know this is a really great one. You're going to agree with me, and this is one why it's okay to sell auto, you know, your code, right? Why it's okay to make money with Auto Hotkey, where there's a lot of confusion on this for whatever reason, and I think it would be really good to have a nice, clear talk. Uh, you know, Tank from the forum, he he has talked with Chris about it. And when he took over for Chris running the admin in the forum, he had a very clear picture of what Chris wanted. And and I know firsthand from what he told me, but I, it would be great to have him maybe lead part of that because it's, it's not what a lot of people think. Yeah, for sure. And then I know you also mentioned possibly other things like JavaScript or maybe other languages for, you know, Mac or Linux or something as well of equivalents or, you know, if you're trying to do stuff, it, it might be a, here's the thing. Everyone at this convention is going to have a certain mindset where we're used to using some sort of tool to get things done quicker. Right. And sometimes we end up maybe into a different environment. And that's why I think it's a really, it does make sense to have a little bit of that of just, even if at a high level, just understanding what kind of tools are out there, right? Here are some that you might want to try. Yeah. And, you know, kind of what are the next routes for you? Hey, you've mastered auto hotkeys. What would be something good else to try with automation? You know, should you do JavaScript, maybe Python? Why is one better than the other as the next stepping ladder? You know, Tom, I, so another great one to throw in there would be given maybe there's four different scenarios, um, that you're trying to do. When is auto hockey the right choice? And when is it the wrong choice? When should you use a different language, right? I think that might be a fun discussion of, exactly. it's not always the right choice, right? But yeah. it just depends on your goals and what you're doing. And hey, if it's getting run by, you know, a billion times, you know, per day, probably not auto hockey is not the right choice, right? But yeah, um, and that's that why we be... have so many languages out there. If, yeah. if a language could do every single thing, there would only be one language in existence. <laughs> right. So, and, and obviously this is where we'd love, you know, comment in on the video and just say, here's, you know, a topic I'd like to hear or see, or the URL that you see right here, the automator.com slash ahkcon, that'll take you to a form where you can sign up to get notified of alerts of here's what's going on and just reminders of the events and th you know, things that's happening. And also give us some feedback of, you know, maybe we're going to give, show you here in a second. I'll just scroll down right now, I guess, a, a list of people who we've um, talk to already. So these are people who are tentatively signed up to present on some topic. But these are, you know, you probably recognize, I would say, almost everybody in this list, right? There are yeah, people who've been around for even a little bit. You're going to at right. least, you know, start to recognize these names for sure. Yeah. So um, we got some really good talent that's going to be, you know, presenting and in, in very core knowledge. Well, I haven't finished recruiting everybody, you know, so we're going to try and get a couple other people as well. But if there's either you, if you're, you know, understand a topic really well, you know, let us know if there's something you'd like to present on. We're not, just to be clear though, we're probably not looking for, hey, I did this one really cool script that I think everyone will love because we all have those scripts, right? It's, it's more of a, a category kind of thing, web scraping, API, or regex, something like that. You know, if you can present on that, that would be cool, right? Classes, JSON. I mean, there's so many topics that are at a high level. They'd be great to have a deep dive into DLL calls, you know, com objects, things like that, right? Or if you know someone that you'd like to kind of say we should look into, you know, go ahead or you maybe even reach out to them if you know them firsthand and ask them if they're interested and if they are to, to go ahead and sign up or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the internet's a big place. We don't know everybody. <laughs> Not yet. No. Um, Not yet. <laughs> yeah. And just to be clear, so when you sign up, Tom and I are the only people who are going to have this information. We're not sharing it with, you know, gobs and gobs of people. There might be one or two other admin members that are going to help us with all this because it, 
I think in the long run, it's going to turn into more work than we initially think. Hopefully it's not too crazy, but we might, my point being is we might have one or two other people helping us, but we're not sharing this list with, you know, everyone and, and anyone. So yeah, um, yeah. And, and it was not, or, yeah, anything else. That's what I was going to say. It's not being used for anything else um, in any way. So, um, and I think you all know, I've, I've done a lot of stuff like the auto hockey surveys over the past years, and I've never used that for, you know, any sort of anything, but Anyway, we're, I know Tom and I are both, we're, we both love auto hockey. It changed our lives, right? I've talked to Tom enough to know that like it's, he gets it, like the value of it. And it's, it's why we wanted to, you know, bring this to y'all and, and, and have some fun. Yeah. Um, are you able to show that list? Here are the people, which, um, yeah, I thought it was on the screen when I was looking at it earlier, but yeah, yeah here, it's... here's a list of people for now. Yeah. And some of these people, uh, they might be, doing multiple panels, you know, they might have one or two that they're going to be doing. So they, you might, you know, if you miss one of theirs, hopefully you can uh, catch their next one. Like Joe said, this is not a complete list. We definitely want to get some of the biggest names out there. So recommendations are always welcome. Yeah. And I don't want to overemphasize like that they have to be, you know, really well known. It's not that it's that they, to me, they have a solid understanding of the topic that they're going to present on and again, the topic isn't this little thing they did on their own that, you know, is interesting, but, you know, it's at, at a, at a, you know, categorical level of the, the area that they're presenting on, but yeah. Yep. Awesome. So we're looking forward to, to, you know, seeing you all there and having some fun and yeah, that's it. Well, we'll let you know when we, we uh, down below in the description, uh, you know, the more information we get with what you guys want to see, the better we're going to understand our audience and, you know, make you guys happy. Cause that's what it's all about. You know, we're not doing this for me and Joe for the fun of it. I mean, it's fun, but we're doing it for you guys is I guess the way to say it. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I was going to say also is, you know, Tom's mentioned several times like panels, but I want to have also, I guess it's just, it's just not a panel. It's a very clear uh, discussion, you know, um, or something presentation you know on how to achieve x y or z right like but yeah again not at an entry level stuff like in the webinars geo which he i haven't reached out to him yet but I, uh, so i don't know if he's gonna you know be, be a part of it but he presented on the neural network stuff with auto hotkey which to me was just like this is amazing right so it'd be something like that of like a really interesting topic at a high level of you know how to do something um jean is jean long has presented several times on SQL light on encoding on recursive function calls, you know, so you kind of get the idea of what we're looking for. I hope. Yeah, I think and even if it's kind of, you know, over your head, like completely on a certain topic, you know, it still could be something to watch and just be like, wow, like I can't believe auto hockeys can do that. Maybe I'll look into that. So it could be a good way to find like, what's your next stepping stool in learning to get more to that advanced expert level? Yeah. And I think it's a good point, Tom, is maybe we plan a session because I usually cover this when I do an intro. When I intro people to auto hotkey, used to be at work, I would, I would sit there for an hour with them. In the first 10 minutes, I would say, here are some of the amazing things you can do with auto hotkey. And I didn't show them the code. I would just demo, hey, you can connect to Excel and automate that, or you can web scrape, or you can do API calls or whatever, right? Like kind of at a high level talking through so much of the stuff. Because for a lot of people, they're like, it does hot strings and hot keys. And that's all, all it does. And it's like, no, it, it does so much more. Actually, anyway, it, it does so much more. It's, it's incredible. We'll save that for uh, the con. <laughs> right. All right, man. All right. Well, all right. See everybody later.